Last time ever. Make them good questions. This is it. You'll never see me again. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll open up uh, fourth row uh, left. Andy? Yeah, Coach, can you talk about the differences for the offensive line when you go under center versus when you're in shotgun? I'm assuming you're not still in zone blocking. Right? Yeah, it's, it's, there's, some, there's uh, little, little differences, obviously, for the center. The snap's completely different. So that's something we've been working on for a long time with the centers is under, you know, a guy's hand under there because when you take off at certain angles to run certain plays, those are stressful situations. So we've had to work on those a bunch in the off season. And I really thought the first game they handled it really well. It was, it was a concern of mine, to be obvious. Uh, but I think they handled it well, and it's something we need to continue to work on because it's new to us. Front row right, uh, Joey. I think Munford was a guy who was limited some in camp. Um, how did you make, what did you make of his first game? Really well. I think he, he played great. Um, he didn't get a lot of reps. I think the most reps he had in any practice leading up to the game was 22. So you're right. He was limited. We want to make sure we brought him along slowly to make sure his back was back at 100% to be able to handle it. He played 50 plays in the game which was about what I wanted him to play. Uh, he had no ill effects. He moved around well. He bent well. Uh, he, he was really athletic. He's lighter than he's ever been. He was 313. Uh, last year, I don't think he was under three, between 325 and 330 most of the year. So I think that helped him a little bit, took a little stress off his back. But uh, he played extremely well. Do you see that increasing over the following week? Absolutely, yeah, I do. Front row right, Austin. Stud, when you looked at Jonah Jackson coming in, I think everyone assumed that he would start right away, but mm -hmm. he still had to transition to a new program. How did he do that so successfully? I think he is, in, and it's the first thing when we started investigating him right off the bat, and I went and met with him, uh, the maturity level that that kid has is unbelievable. I mean, he is a, he knows what he wants. He's goal-oriented. Goal, goal it was hard for him to leave his friends and guys there, but he wanted a chance to be successful. This game means so much to him, and playing it, he wanted to have a chance to win everything. And I noticed that attitude about him, and that's what makes him a great player. His attention to detail, his seriousness. You know, I think Coach said it one day during two days. Uh, we had the evening off, and everybody was sitting there on their phones, taking naps and sleeping, and Jonah's in there on his iPad watching film. It's a prime example right there. That says it all. It's important to him. And he came out, and I don't know if you watched it. I think he had nine knockdowns or... I mean, he was extremely physical. He finished. And then you watch that film, all the younger guys are like, oh, maybe that's how you're supposed to do this. You know, so that, that effect that he had on that room was unbelievable just in one game. I was trying to remember if he said it was nine knockdowns. That seems like a pretty good debut. What kind of love, attention do you get in the offensive line room when that's the kind of number you put up? That's what we celebrate together. You know, we close the doors and we celebrate those kind of things together um, because that's the extra effort. That's the one thing, understand, the culture of the program, what we ask them to do, go hard. Go hard, period. If, if you make a mistake or you don't understand something, blame me. That's my fault. But I'm not going to tell you to go hard. And that's the one thing that that kid does, and he'll set the tone for the rest of the group and the rest of our team as guys watch his film and watch what he puts on film because he goes to the end now. He goes just past the echo of the whistle. That's what we talk about. Just past it, you know, because that's what I want. And if something happens sometime, that's good. Okay, that's on me. That's on us. But I want you to play hard, go through, finish your block to the very end, and that's what he did. And it'll make us all better for it. Yeah, uh, Stud, there were a couple of plays where after the play, you saw these big offensive linemen jumping up and down like they were little kids and stuff. Is that what you wanted out of that group? I mean, how, how much of a dream start, I guess, was it? And I got a follow up. Awesome. Uh, that's exactly what I want, to be honest with you. There's, here's young guys that don't have a lot of game experience. And if you watch the first touchdown, we run the sweep with a zone. Justin pulls it and goes. They're running behind the play, sprinting. Pump fist. That's what I want. That's, the, that's exactly what I want. Go hard. Be enthusiastic. Love what you're doing. Love who you're doing it with. And that's exactly what I won't accept anything else. That's the, the, one of the benefits of coaching a youthful group like they are. That enthusiasm, I want them to have that and keep that. The second, third quarters, what kind of like fell off there from your vantage point? I mean, well, I think they started doing some different things. Um, uh, they, a little, couple movement things hurt us. They started blitzing more. All right, we had to finish some blocks and finish some things. And it's like anything else. Once we get a first down, we're really confident. If we don't get the first series, we don't go out and get a first down. We start to get sluggish and slow down, and that's what happened. A couple incomplete passes, a run for no gain. Now all of a sudden you're in third and long and, and you know, converting those things. So I think it was just attention to detail, and maybe when it was 28-0, they took a little bit of a lull. 
you know, I don't like to see that, but I think that's a little bit what happened, part of it too. But then again, they fought back through it and started grinding and got the thing back going again, which again was good to see. Uh, third row left, Dan. Some of your offensive linemen mentioned after the game about how, you know, FAU's defensive line, they changed their techniques and that might have caused them some problems. What are the things that you do as a coach during the game to work with those guys and help them adjust to that? Yeah, it's a great question. What they were doing is obviously they weren't as big as we were. So initially they came in, they were playing their technique and doing things, and we were knocking them off the ball a little bit. Then they started to jump around, move, lateral. So what we have to do at that point when that happens is change our technique. And that's what I do on the sidelines. Now, you can't come off and try to kill a guy that's going to move lateral side to side and jump around the block. We have to be more sound with our footwork. We have to be a little bit less aggressive, all right, in getting on that guy when he moves instead of trying, like our young guys were, trying to kill him and and finish the block really quickly. So we have to make our adjustments in-game, and that's what we did kind of in the second half. Put in a counter scheme, put in a gap scheme, put in a couple different things that would allow us to handle that movement a little bit better things you can do during the week of practice that make it so if that happens in the next game, you might be able to adjust a little bit more quickly. Uh, we're going to work on it right now because I can tell you right now it will happen in this game. So we're going to work on it today in about two hours. And final set of questions. Over to the left, Doug. Uh, Greg, in the end, how close was the, the Brandon Bowen Petit Frere battle at right tackle? And- Re- really close. Really close. But, but in the end, Brandon's maturity and, again, he's so smart. I mean, he, 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 him being out there making the calls and protections and things and just how he played the last two scrimmages. Just edge Nick out. You know, it was really, really close battle. And, again, Nick's still going to play, just like Alby's still going to play on the other side because I, 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 those four kids can play a lot of football and keep us fresh throughout the season without having guys absorb too many snaps. The starters, I think, absorbed 75 Saturday, and then Nick got 25, Alby got 25, well, they still got their work, and then the young three guys inside got about 12. It's good. They all got to play. But that will keep us fresh throughout the season and allow us to stay healthy. And is that when you have a, a talented young guy like Nick um, and he's trying to win a job and he doesn't do it, what do you have to do as a coach to make sure he stays connected, well, stays upbeat? You're exactly right. He, you have to keep his confidence level up. Because, you know, obviously both those kids were battling their heart out for that job. And when one loses the job, disappointment sets in. And you just said, I just had to sit down with Nick and tell him, hey, listen, it's coming. Don't press. It's coming. You're doing fantastic. It's not anything that you did wrong. You're still developing. You're still coming. Don't worry about that. Keep working on your game and keep developing because you never know what's going to happen. And final question. Go here to the right side. It was, also, it was also Josh's first start. How did he play? Really well. I tell you, I, I – all the things that we put on our center here, making the calls and doing all those things, and then, and then we're in the shotgun, then we're under center, and then we're doing – he handled it magnificent. I was worried about it. I, I thought it might be a little too much on him early, but he, he really handled it well. He played physical as well. He had four or five tremendous blocks down the field. That touchdown run, he hits a linebacker, and he's sailing through the air as Justin goes by. And so he, he was able to – overcome his nerves, because I know he was nervous before the game. It was his first start. But he was over to, o- able to overcome his nerves and really play physical and still handle all the things mentally. I think there were only two misidentifications that he had the entire game, which was, which was excellent. I thought there would be some more, you know, being his first game and how nervous he was, and there weren't. I know you had confidence in your guys, and some of them are experienced, mm-hmm. but they hadn't played together. Oh, sure. Uh, how much trepidation <laughs> was there in your mind about how they would gel and, and how far along – How much more do they have to do to really become that cohesive line? We have a long way to go. Uh, I was worried about it. So just to put it point blank, I love those guys. All right? I'm confident in them. Like you saw, the youthful exuberance I love. They're they're running down the field. They're knocking people down. They're getting extra blocks. All those things that you want in a coach. But you also want them to be on point with technique, on point with identification. I don't want any MAs. And we had a few of those that I didn't like that we have to clean up. So – I think they can be a tremendous offensive line. That's why I kept them in there probably a little longer than I would have because of what you just said. I want them to play together. They have Jonah has to get used to playing with Thayer. You know, Bowen has to use get Wyatt next to him. Those things all, all those relationships with communication during a game take time to develop. That's why they were in there and doing that. And I was pretty happy with what they did. But we got a long way to go. We're nowhere near where we need to be. Coach, thank you very much. Right, thanks. Thanks, Dad. See you next year. <laughs>